How's it going? I hope everyone had a happy holiday and a good new year. Today we're back with a rather short video, but a hack or a tip to trimming out your windows. If you're ever in need of something quick and you wanna make sure that you can do it perfect and right every time, I've got something to show you that's gonna make a world of difference. And on that, let's do it. Before we get started, we need two tools, a combination square and a pencil. What we're looking to do is create a 3 16 reveal around the inside of the window. To do that, you need to set your combination square to 3 16 of an inch. Once you've done that, you can then come over and start marking your 3 16 3 16 of an inch in either direction. I have already gone ahead and done that for each corner. And once you've done that, then you can make sure that you have the perfect miter for your trim on each corner. It will be perfect. And that is the key here. We want consistency and quick, easy hack or tip and trimming out these windows, but get you that perfect miter in each corner every time. So on that, let's get over to the miter saw and, and cut our trim. All right, so we're back with our first miter cut. We wanna line up the bottom of our trim to the inside corner of that 3 16 of an inch mark. Once we get it lined up there, we wanna hold and raise the other side, make sure we're still on that mark. Take our pencil and mark this, the side, the inside corner. Where we'll make our next cut. You just need to throw a line up there. Doesn't need to be perfect. Show the pencil in the direction that you're gonna be cutting. And this is where you're gonna create your next miter. So on that, I'm gonna go cut that up and I'll be back. All right, so we cut our other miter. We're gonna put our top piece in place, making sure that the inside corner meets this and also meets our new miter. And it does, it's about darn perfect. So if we wanted to, we could get our brad nailer or our nail gun or our finishing nailer and nail this to, to the wall. Um, if you wanna use glue, you can do that too. I'm also using liquid nail. If I can have the least amount of nail holes in my trim, that's what I want to accomplish. Less the caulk, less that just, sometimes nail holes make it not look as good as what it could be if it's just glued on the backside and all the way around. So I'm not gonna nail this quite just yet. I'm gonna get my left piece started and make sure that miter is perfect. Also facing down in the lower corner as well, but more importantly that it meets up with this corner and that that is also perfect. So on that, I'm gonna do that right now. All right, with our second piece cut, we can match up that miter and see how well we did on that cut. So put our first piece on of our top piece, make sure we're lined up on the inside corner on each. Take our second piece, our left side, I'm gonna match up, hit that corner best you can. And you can see, and I wish I had a third hand. Uh, I'll move it down so you can see, but we are lined up exactly where we need to be. Without me even putting any pressure right in line with our 3 16 reveal and where this new board meets. So we will make a line and we will go in the direction that the cut will be so we have a reminder and I'll go make that cut. And using your top piece that you hopefully have not nailed or glued down, you line up your left piece 
you see my new miter cut and we are on the exact corner of where we need to be. So you just keep doing that and you work your way around. You now want to focus on the right side of the window because there's a special trick also in finishing the bottom without using a tape measure and continuing using the same method, matching up the inside corner on your trim so that you have those perfect miters. So let me get to the right side of the window and I'll be back to show you how you want to do the trick for the bottom. Okay, so I took my top piece again, lined up the inside corner, got a perfect miter in the top right hand side, matched it up on the bottom. Let me show you that. As you can see, inside lower right made my mark. I'm gonna go cut that. I'll come back and show you where we stand. As mentioned in the beginning of the video, I had said you can either use nails or glue or a combination of both to secure the trim around your window. I prefer to use glue because the nails, while they work, they're fine, is that you have to come back and caulk them or use joint compound to fill in the holes and there's added work. But it also doesn't give it that finished look that I like if you can just glue it up. So I'm just gonna use glue. I have used nails in other windows in this room because I needed to. Uh, liquid nail or liquid nails has been good for this purpose um, but something that I need to stress that a lot of people seem to forget when they do any type of trim whether it's window trim door trim or baseboard trim is another item to have another material to have is wood glue you need to glue your seams I don't care what you're gluing in trim, you need to glue them because eventually they're gonna pop. They're gonna open up and then you're gonna come back and fill them with caulk and it's just not gonna look as good. But if you make sure you glue your seams on all your miters and all your cuts and all your joints that meet, they'll look good forever. So I'm gonna do that on the piece that's already up. I get amped up. just so that you know that it's secure and you can do that. It's really, it comes down to a matter of preference. All right, so I'm gonna finish the left side up uh, and I'll be back and show you how we're gonna do the bottom and that trick as well. All right, so for the final piece, still without using a tape measure, you should line up your other miter in your lower right hand corner. You find what's good near your reveal. You line up this part, your left piece, your left inside corner, and you make a line and you mark underneath where the outside of the trim meet. You then flip it over, find your meet point on the outside corner there. Make sure that they meet up there, which they do. And that is your cut point for the miter for your last cut. If it lines up there, you know you're good. You make that cut, slap it in, and we'll be done. Okay, so after making that last bottom left-hand corner miter cut, slapped it in, and we're good to go. All my miters look Pretty perfect. As you can see, I had to actually add some nails. Uh, unfortunately, I wanted to glue the whole thing, but sometimes the trim can be fickle and you have to make adjustments. And those adjustments were adding the nails. There were only a couple, but uh, the finished product looks really great. The corners, the, the miters, they look crisp. They're about darn perfect. Um, so with that being said, this about wraps up this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you in the next one.